Hello and welcome to a new video. My name is Terwig Juster from findoutaboutplastics.com and today we discuss the troubleshooting of felt lines in injection molding. Okay, let us get started. In general, uh, what are weld lines? So it's, you can say it's scratch-like or notch-like lines where two melt flow during the filling process uh, meet and this scratch-like or notch-like lines get especially visible in dark or transparent polymer parts where you have polished surfaces also parts with glass fiber reinforcement and also uh, plastic parts with effect pigments and when we look at the reasons i brought here this uh, a picture from c mold design guide you can see here uh, an obstacle. We have here the injection point where the melt flows in, fills the, the cavity and reach the obstacle and then we have different flow speeds around the obstacles and after the obstacle the two melt fronts meet again and form a weld line or a melt line. So the difference between weld line and melt line is the the angle where they meet each other so you can say as a rule of thumb below 135 degrees the it is considered a weld line and when it's uh, above 135 degree the, the, the melt front then it is a meld line so with the weld line you have a lower quality compared to the melt line uh, since you have less molecular uh, diffusion and also if you have glass fiber reinforcement um, the, there are less glass fibers in this area it's just the, the, the base polymer you can see then the uh, final result and you can see here then the weld line and the melt line okay what can we do to solve this situation of weld lines Let's have a look at the troubleshooting chart. So as on the left we can see the causes. So we have already said that when two or more melt fronts meet, uh, they can have an uh, effect on appearance of the part uh, due to this weld line. And this weld line also impacts the mechanical properties of the molded part because we have not the same strength there. And there can be various geometric causes of weld lines. So you can have multi-point gating where you have several melt flows meet each other. You can have holes. This is the example of what we discussed before as a as an obstacle. You can have a, a change in the wall thickness, which also cause cost a different uh, melt velocity, uh, differences in flow length, and also that you feed from opposite sides the parts. So you have the gating on the opposite side. Uh, and um, what we can do now so to start with we can optimize the switch over point uh, so we discuss now more the processing changes and then we discuss also more the, the tool changes. so when you optimize the switch over point uh, the switch over point to the holding pressure so shortly before the volumetric filling has, has been reached so we talk about 98% of the filling level uh, change over to the holding pressure this can already uh, improve the, the appearance on the surface. Um, then we can uh, increase the injection speed. Um, however, if you have venting problems uh, during the in this area of the weld line, uh, the injection speed should be more reduced and not increased. Then what also can help is to increase the melt temperature to have a better um, diffusion of the, the melt and also clean through all the uh, venting channels. Then now we discuss more the what we can do in terms of mold changes. So we can try to move the weld line in a non-visible area. Um, so for example by moving the gate and if possible by changing the wall thickness uh, the path of the polymer melt in the cavity uh, and as a consequence the position of the weld line can be influenced you may not remove it however we can move it to a, a non-visible area however this is associated with changes in in the mold so uh, 
before you cut uh, the tool it, it's better to make some uh, filling simulation some mold flow studies to to see the effectiveness of this measurement and also you can improve the venting in the affected areas uh, which then in turn helps again with the filling and uh, less uh, weld line appearance okay if you find if you would like to know more about polymer engineering topics i highly recommend you my, my blog find out about plastics.com as well my uh, online courses on polymer material selection i will link you both the blog and the online courses in the description below okay which video to watch next for example in this video we discuss the troubleshooting of moisture streaks so check it out thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe and smash that like button till next time bye